Hello, hello, my sunshines. How are you surviving the great Arctic polar freeze of 2022? I don't know if that's what the newsmen are calling it, but that's what I'm calling it. I know it's cold probably where you are because here in the South in Atlanta, it was in the teens this morning and there was legit ice on some patches of the road. So let me know how you're doing with this freeze. Hopefully everybody is nice and warm and cozy. I know my friend just moved to Colorado and she said with the wind chill factor, it was gonna be negative 40. I can't even fathom anything being that cold. So today we're just gonna do kind of a casual unboxing. I have a festive sweatshirt on and my fuzzy socks. Get in your cozies. I have three great boxes that I'm bringing back to the channel, boxes that haven't been on the channel for a while. Also boxes where if you're looking for a last minute gift and it's too cold to go out, you could just go on the website, print out a gift certificate, wrap it up, bada bing, bada boom, you would be good. I think all three of these would make really great gifts. So that's what we're gonna do today. As I say every day, if you like what you see, please consider hitting that subscription button and giving this video a thumbs up. It would mean the absolute world. It would be like the best Christmas gift ever. All right, so the first box, I'm so excited that's back on the channel is my journal junk box. Now I've had so many questions saying, where did it go? We miss it. Uh, did you stop getting it? And yes, I did stop getting it for a while. I talked to the owner, Dallas, and I said, gosh, it's been on the channel for a while. I think we're gonna take a little bit of a break. I hate doing that, but I just can't do every box every month. It's just not enough room on the channel. And so every three to six months, I'll rotate boxes off in order to rotate new boxes on. I cannot tell you over the past few months how many times I've seen the spoilers of their monthly box and have been drooling. So I'm really, really happy to have this one back. So this is a monthly kind of stationary and lifestyle subscription box. So there's journals and notebooks and stickers and really great pens and lifestyle products in here. And I like that there's two different price points and ways that you can subscribe. As a side note, this is called the Journal Junk Box. And I have gone down a guilty pleasure rabbit hole of watching junk journaling videos. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? I just learned that this was a thing and I don't think that I'm gonna jump on board, but I love watching them. So if you watch them and you have a channel that you want me to check out, let me know down below. Okay, so like I said, there's two ways you can subscribe. They have the Journal Junk Sack, which is $27.99. That's like a smaller version. You get three or four items every month. And then they have their full size box, which is $52.99. Now I do have a discount code for 15% off of this box. This is consistently how it looks. So cute. And inside or on the cover is kind of what you'll see in some of the boxes. If you watch her on Instagram, she has two just adorable daughters that are smaller that'll help her pack. She's a mama who really just brings her whole family into her business and I really like that. Um, so if you're looking for a small business to, to support, this would be a great one. The theme is called Tis the Season. Now I will say with this box, she is very good to ship it before the month starts. So you would have received this box like the last week of December or, or the last week of November, I'm sorry, or maybe like the first day or two of December, you get it right at the beginning of the month, which I really appreciate. And then on the back is everything inside. We'll talk about that in a minute and the prices. It says, hey, journal babe and then here is everything inside the box okay so we have some self sealing cards with envelopes oh these are so pretty they say peace hope and you know what i'm gonna take these out they say peace hope and love on the little card it looks like this what a sweet little card so it says peace hope and love here and then it says, wishing you peace and joy throughout the season. Now I'm getting these a little bit late because I'm just opening it late, but I think this would make a lovely thank you card or a New Year's card. It doesn't necessarily have to be Christmas. The season lasts all the way through New Year's, really. Isn't that beautiful? So we got a whole set of those cards. There are 20 cards with 21 envelopes, wow. That's beautiful. Okay, so that was the first thing. Then we got a little sign that says, it's cuddle weather, 
which that's adorable. Again, that would be great even through January and February, like on a hot chocolate bar. A lot of people just do hot chocolate bars like for Christmas. I leave mine out all the way through the winter. We're big hot chocolate people. We got some stickers. Oh, these are so cute. Okay. So I use these in my planners a lot. Look at that. Like, is that a little mistle mistletoe? <laughs> yes, it's a mistletoe and it says, meet me here. Oh my goodness. We've got the garland. Look at the little bird. It says together. Then we've got the reindeer poinsettia. Twas the night before Christmas deck the halls. And then you've got a lot of like words, tis the season, happy tonight, Merry Christmas, wish list, um, some more words like functional words. Oh, wow. Look at this one. Okay, so these are all individual stickers, each set of words. And you have them in black and white and then like cream and red. So it says like celebrate, wonderful, laugh, Christmas countdown, tis the season. And every one is in a little bit of a different font, a marshmallow world. Dear Santa, define good. How adorable. So if you sign up for this box, you would get the January box. Then there's like a countdown, 1 to 31. And then there's some like appointment. I call these like appointments, but you could use them as a banner, a title. These could go on file folders, really whatever you wanted. And then, oh, look at these. <gasps> These are like longer, I love that star one. These are little tickets that says admit one. So if you went to the movies, like on a date night or something, you put that in your planner. Very cute, have a holly jolly Christmas with the little mistletoe. Sorry, my camera is acting out. One, two, three, four, five, six. You got eight sets of stickers with that, eight sheets. Okay, the next one says a to-do list. It's got a little tree. And then it's got a big old magnet, so you can put this on your fridge. Love. Okay, the next one is some washi tape. If you don't know what to do with washi tape, I found um, a couple of articles on Pinterest. One of them was 100 creative things you can do with washi tape. Um, but these are like Christmas washies put them on Christmas cards. I use them in my planner. When I send out Poshmark, um, when I sell anything for my closet, usually I'll wrap the tissue and then use um, some washi tape. Okay, the next thing we got is 16 holiday gift tags. Oh, what a great idea. I'm sorry that I'm opening this box late. We kind of decided at the last minute that I was gonna open it for her and bring it back on the channel, but I'll definitely put this in my Christmas like gift wrap. I have one of those like two tier bow holders that holds this and I'll be ready for next year. Aren't they pretty? I feel like my camera is just playing with all of the plastic. Let's open it and see if I can give you a better look. Okay. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. I love that. So many gift tags I feel like are very kiddish. That's beautiful. It's almost like a rose gold. I love that. All right, wow, this was a great box. Then we got a little sleigh ride. I think this is a candle. Yeah, a natural hand poured candle. Oh yeah, it smells good. It does kind of smell like a, a sleigh ride. There's some glitter on the top. It smells like you are in fresh snow and pine trees. Like, you know, in the movie White Christmas, that was one of my grandmother's favorite uh, movies. I like it too, but I always watch it in honor of her every year when they're on the sleds. That's what it reminds me of. Okay, love that. I cannot believe how much she put into this box. Okay, so the next thing we have is a ballpoint pen by a loom. Okay. This is beautiful too. Oh my goodness. This is very like modern and interesting. Isn't that pretty? And I, I will tell you, I think Dallas, the owner, is as picky about pins as I do because right off the bat, when I get a pin from Journal Junk Box or a set of pins, they're always like the best. Yeah, 
see this one? I'll just sign my name. Writes, no, I don't have the best handwriting, but it writes right off the bat perfectly. It glides beautifully. That's nice. This would be nice to just put in your gift wrap bow holder too for your tags. Okay, and there's one more thing in here. It says master plan. It's got a gold little binder. And then, oh, it's a beautiful journal. So this is cloth, but it's like soft, kind of like brushed. It's beautiful, almost like suede, but not really. Wow, look at the plaid on that. It's just beautiful with the red and the navy and the gold coil. And then beautiful paper. Wow, look at a lot of paper in this. I wonder how many sheets it has. It doesn't say. That's beautiful, you get a lot in here. So if you wanna start making plans, this would be a perfect way to do it. Wow, they knocked it out of the park with that one. What did you think? We got the Plaid Preppy Journal, that was $14.99, the Hawthorne Street Pen for $12.99, the Assorted Warm Wishes Washi Tape for $4.99, the Holiday Decorative Wood Block for $8.50, the Holiday Greeting Small Box Cards Set of 20 for $10.99, the little sleigh ride candle was seven. The warm wishes sticker book was $7.99. That's a great price on that. The holiday wreath gift tag set was $6.99 and the fashion girl holiday pocket notes were $5.99. Wow. I really like this box and I'm super excited it is back on the channel. So again, I have that discount code for 15% off if you wanna check out Journal Junk Box or the Journal Junk Sack. Usually the sack will still have like the big um, journal, like that maybe that plaid journal and then one or two other smaller things, which is great. All right, I also wanted to let you know that I found a couple of weeks ago that Burt's Bees was doing a mystery box. It sold out in five hours and so many of you on social media were like, I missed it, I missed it, I missed it. Well, it is back. It is $37.99. It's gonna give you $79 worth of product. I know you guys like mystery boxes and everything is full size in there. I've done a few unboxings of their mystery boxes before and they've always been pretty good. So if you're looking for a fun mystery box, I'll link that one down below just in case um, you're just looking for something fun. Okay, the next one we're gonna talk about is actually my husband's favorite box. And this one is called The Box of Jerks. It is a beef jerky subscription. Now, beef jerky does not have to be for men, obviously. However, it is a great idea as a last minute gift for a guy. I actually got the subscription for my husband last year. I've shared before, he is not a man that's easily impressed. He's very much the absent-minded professor. <laughs> he just kind of goes along his day and nothing's a big deal to him. He loves this box. And there's a couple of ways you can subscribe to this one too. I got him a three month subscription last year. And I think now that I think about it, I might go on and do a gift subscription for him for Christmas because I kind of could use one more gift for him. I think I'm gonna do that. So there's three ways you can subscribe. They have their box called The Little Jerk. That's gonna give you three bags. And this isn't just beef jerky you can find at the grocery store. This is like small business craft beef jerky. Really, really good. So you can get three bags for $25.75. I'll show you the size of the bags in a minute. You can get the typical jerk box, which is gonna give you five bags of jerky. That's what I did for him last year year. It was $37.75 a month. Or you can get the big jerk, which is going to give you seven bags for $55.75. Now I did notice on their website that you can get a one-time box. So if you want to send somebody a box or maybe you want to order a box, they ship pretty quickly. Maybe you're not going to see somebody till after Christmas. I highly recommend this subscription box. Now, when you order it, they will ask you a couple of questions. I think there's like one or two. And it's like, what kind of jerky? Do you like spicy? Do you like smoky? Do you like fruity? Um, so there, be kind of prepared for that. And then off your box will come. This is a really great family owned business too. The box is stinking cute. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. It says, we strive to bring you the best craft beef jerky month after month from top suppliers across the US. Follow the jerks on social media um, and send us photos so we can share. 
Okay, it says East Landing, Michigan. So that's probably where they feature like one company every month. It says, you may not know you're impacting the world when you purchase Mission Meats products. You may just want a delicious, healthy, grass-fed beef snack, and that's okay. We're cool with that. <laughs> but you are also making the world a better place with every snack you buy. At Mission Meats, they give 1% of their profits to social good organizations. Your snacks fight deforestation in Haiti, with Bonzeb, your snacks help Perspectives Minnesota transform the lives of homeless mothers and their children. Your snacks create leaders and entrepreneurs in Africa with Educate. So eat well and thank you for helping them make a positive impact on the world. So I love how they found a company that gives back. Okay, so here is the first one and this is by Mission Meats. This is a two ounce bag. Um, and they have their expiration date right here. And this is a barbecue flavor beef jerky. It has a natural smoke flavor and it is paleo friendly. I love that. Yeah. So the next one is Chuda beef. It's gluten-free, no nitrates, no nitrites, and no artificial ingredients. This is made in Long Beach, California, and it is a smoke flavored beef jerky and this one is 2.25 ounces y'all this beef jerky if you think of beef jerky as being like really tough and really chewy not these what I will say is they are tender they are flavorful they kind of melt in your mouth if you can believe beef jerky does that box of jerks just finds the right ones okay the next one they have is a thin cut gourmet jerky by the Avalon Meat Company this is from Las Vegas. I also like that all of their um, beef jerky is from the United States. Interesting, look how cute. They've kind of got the Las Vegas skyline a little bit there. Our cuts of beef are hand carved in our USDA kitchen and marinated daily with Hawaii's favorite Aloha Shoyu products. We use hardwood smoke on all our beef. When in Las Vegas, stop by and sample our jerky candy and other delicious treats. I wouldn't think of Las Vegas being a jerky place, but I guess you can find it anywhere, right? Okay, the next one in here is Baja Jerky. Oh my goodness, this stuff. I feel like I've seen this one in a previous box before. Yes, the street taco. This one is so good. It was a couple of years ago. Oh my goodness, the Baja flavor. It has sweet and heat. Yum, look at the cow with the sunglasses. Isn't that adorable? All right, and the last one we have is called Chew on This Beef Jerky and it is a black pepper. So this one's gonna have a little bit more heat on it. So that's what they ask you when you're filling out your profile is how much heat do you like? My husband likes heat, so that is good with him. Look at this crazy guy on the front. He looks adorable. So there you go, that was the beef jerky box. Um, beef jerky does not have to be for men, but I do think if you're looking for a last penny um, subscription for a guy, maybe check that one out. And like I said, you can get a one-time box or you can get like a three or a six month subscription. A lot of times with these subscriptions, the price goes down the more of a subscription you get between a three, a six, or a 12. All right, and last but not least, I'm so excited to welcome this back on the channel too. This is the craft and tea box. So this particular subscription comes out of Canada. They ship here to the US and I believe also to the UK. Every month you get two gourmet loose leaf teas to try as well as a craft. I loved the crafts they've done. They've done everything from like crocheting our own dish towels to making candles to doing uh, making soap, all kinds of really interesting things. The crafts are very varied. Um, I think last fall I did a video where I actually made the craft on camera. It was this adorable little um, fall wreath. I used it last year on my tear tray. I used it this year on my tear tray. I just really like it. So if you're someone who needs like the instructions and all of the 
things you need <laughs> to make the craft. They've even put glue guns in their past boxes before. This one's going to be for you if you just want to dip your toe in the craft world. Um, this one is another one that ships really early. So you usually have it like the last week of November, this being the December box or the very first week of December. Okay, so there's a couple of ways you can subscribe to this box. You can do the monthly box, which is what I'm going to show you today. And just FYI, this box does ship out of Oh Canada. Um, it is $59.99 Canadian, which with the exchange rate ends up being about $44 US. It also ships to the UK, which ends up being about $38 pounds. Now I did find a discount code for 50% off your first box if you get a three month subscription. So you'll click the link down below and then there's a little check box that you'll um, kind of X and that will give you the discount. They do have a one-time box. So if you're just looking for a gift or you're wanting to kind of dip your toe into this world, it's a mini box. It ends up being $29.99 Canadian with the exchange rate that's about $22 US and $19 in pounds. Now that one's gonna give you an adult coloring book, a full set of colored pencils, as well as the tea. Now this is what it looks like. It's just got some blue tissue on top. And then here's the card. It says, it's time to get crafty, T-E-A. Your December box has arrived. Whether it's a Christmas gift from someone special or a gift to yourself, you deserve this creative break from life. I have to say also, I saw a little sneak peek of what the January craft is. It's a paper craft. So adorable. Um, it says, oh, Christmas tea. This month, as it's Christmas, we have given you three teas to try. So we got an extra bag. We really just couldn't pick two of them. So we have, oh, yum. This is by Steve's Artisan Tea. Now, all the crafts and all the teas are from independent small businesses, which I really like. So this has black tea, peppermint, candy can pieces, chamomile, cornflower petals, strawberry leaves, and natural flavor. Peppermint tea. Oh my goodness. Yum. Okay, the next one they did is a holiday spice eggnog tea. Oh, I'm intrigued by this one. I bet it's like creamy. It says that this one has black tea, cinnamon, ginger, cloves, cardamom. Yum. Oh, I don't know which one I'm more excited about, the eggnog or the peppermint, but there's a third one, gingerbread. Okay, now which one would you pick? The peppermint, the gingerbread, or the eggnog? The gingerbread has um, is luxury black tea, ginger, cinnamon, cocoa beans, that's interesting, safflower petals, chamomile, star, is it anise or anise? I always say that one wrong, and natural flavors. And it tells you how to steep each of the teas. Do you see how much you get? You get at least 15 to 20 cups of tea in every single one. Honestly, this feels like you would get, I don't know, at least 30 cups of tea between these three bags. I can't believe we got three. And I love black tea. Yum. Okay, peppermint tea is really good for me too. I don't have to worry about caffeine really. Um, and I don't wanna eat anything after I've had anything peppermint. So it's a good like evening kind of snack <laughs> where I don't wanna eat anything afterwards because everything tastes like peppermint. Okay, and then the craft this month is a little paint craft. Oh, this is cute. Okay, so we have, oh my goodness. They're ornaments. <gasps> These are so cute. Okay, let me just show you. Okay, so one of them just has like the mitten. Then this one has let it snow. So I wonder if you are supposed to glue this together. I bet you are like this. So you could paint this one color and this another color. Oh my goodness, adorable. Um, then we've got one that's kind of plain. And then we've got one that's open all the way through. Hold on. And there's the little um, thing to hang it. So they're all just a little bit different, but they all say let it snow. One has like a solid background and one doesn't. Now this one doesn't have a little topper. So this one you could probably do like on a tiered tray and this one could be like an ornament. And then this guy has 
the little topper for the ornament too. And then you've got a whole, oh my goodness, my daughter's gonna go crazy. Yes, there is glue, a pot of glue here. So you can glue the two together after you paint them and let them dry. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 paint colors ranging from a bright gold and silver, holiday red, wine, holiday green, white, black, blue, blue ice pearl. That sounds pretty adorable. So since I'm getting mine late, it might be fun to just paint one and put it on my tiered tray for winter. Then you've got two, no, three different little paint brushes. I like this like really delicate one. I'm a girl who is, is not real, real creative, but my daughter, she would do something really interesting with that paintbrush. And then we've got two little like sponges. So if you wanted to sponge paint around them, easy to use and clean off. I love this subscription. She took a little break over the summer and then she came back this fall and winter and I'm so excited to see them. So again, if you wanna try your first box for 50% off when you get a three month subscription, when you go to the link, just click the little checkbox and you will be able to get that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me below are you done with your Christmas? Have you got all your stuff wrapped? Is your Hanukkah done? Uh, your Kwanzaa, whatever you're doing, like are you ready for the season or are you still scrambling? I have to wrap a few more stocking stuffers and bake some Christmas cookies, but I think I'm done after that. Again, I hope you guys all stay warm. I hope you enjoyed this video. Tomorrow there'll be another one. It'll be like some Christmas boxes, which should be fun. So come back and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.